Good morning friends. It's Saturday morning and it's good to be with you as we spend a few minutes taking some time to pause, perhaps to be still, to breathe. As we turn to God in prayer for ourselves and others at the start of this weekend. These prayers that I'm using today are appropriate for any time of the day and so if you are uh, coming to this later on they're still relevant and you can even return to them later on if you wish. This is prayer for the day on Saturday the 27th of June. As always there are subtitles if those help you. The opening responses. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Your love, O oh Lord, reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. And we follow that with these words of praise. Some ancient words from one of the early saints. What shall I give you, Lord, in return for all your kindness? Glory to you for your love. Glory to you for your patience. Glory to you for forgiving us all our sins. Glory to you for coming to save our souls. Glory to you for your incarnation in the Virgin's womb. Glory to you for your bonds. Glory to you for receiving the cut of the lash. Glory to you for accepting mockery. Glory to you for your crucifixion. Glory to you for your burial. Glory to you for your resurrection. Glory to you that you were preached to all. Glory to you in whom they believed. And we follow with verses 1 to 8 of Psalm 63. We hear these words of the psalmist and we make them our own. O oh God, you are my God, eagerly I seek you. My soul is a thirst for you. My flesh also faints for you, as in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So would I gaze upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. Your loving kindness is better than life itself, and so my lips shall praise you. I will bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed, and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And as we pray throughout this day, some words of St Paul from 2 Corinthians chapter 4 for us to reflect upon and to chew over. We look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal.
And as we come to our prayers, each of us having things on our hearts and minds that are known by God, I'm going to use some simple phrases and if you wish you can respond to them with the words, we pray to you, O Lord. And so to these responses today as part of our prayer, you can respond, we pray to you, O Lord. That this day may be holy, good and joyful. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may offer to you our worship and our work. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may strive for the well-being of all creation. We pray to you, O Lord, that in the pleasures and pains of life we may know the love of Christ and be thankful. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with all your saints and trusting one another and all our life to Christ. We pray to you, O Lord. And the prayer for this week that people the world over will be joining in with as well. Lord, you have taught us that all our doings without love are nothing worth. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so let us also pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so we come to our concluding words of this time of prayer. But we take these words with us, that call to keep our eyes open, our spirit attuned to those things that might be unseen, but yet are eternal. Knowing that God goes with us throughout this day. And so may Christ dwell in our hearts by faith. Amen.